Chiara Perano. I'm a calligrapher and artist and founder of Lamplighter London Design Studio. You can see more of our work on Instagram at Lamplighter London or follow me at chiara.perano. Today I'm going to show you how to enhance your digital lettering by adding a background image from Adobe Stock. So we're going to start by opening your vectorized lettering in Illustrator. And I'm going to go to the top right hand corner and search for an image which I can use with my lettering. Clicking enter has opened up Adobe Stock directly. And you can see loads of beautiful photos of mountains. I'm going to click filters, scroll down to vivid color. Because what's great about Adobe Stock is it lets you search by color. And I'm actually looking for quite a desaturated um, atmospheric image for my piece. So I'm going to slide to the left and there we go. That's exactly the kind of image I'm after. So I'm going to click save preview and I'm going to save to my wild and free library. Okay, that's all saved. So back in Illustrator, I'm going to open up libraries. There's my image just popped up. I'm going to drag it directly into the artboard and place it there. Go up to object, arrange and center back, which will just show the text. And I actually think that works perfectly with the image. So I'm going to go ahead and license it by selecting the image and right click and click license image, which will remove the watermark as well. Okay, so the image is licensed, the watermark's been removed, and I'm going to finish up by selecting my lettering and choosing the eyedropper tool to take a colour directly from the photograph to really pull the two together. And there we have it. Digital lettering laid over a beautiful Adobe stock image, which I can use in print or web.